Hi everyone, Cinder here. Welcome back to Dragon Warrior. A copper sword, okay. A torch. And 630 cash, all right. Not bad. Um, we can sell the sword. We have better than that anyway. <laughs> Good, thanks. Oh, I don't want to buy anything. <laughs> Just want to leave. Okay. We can use the torch when we're inside the cave. All right, let's go see how miserably <laughs> how miserably bad this goes. Yeah, right there. Good. Hi. Nobody has ever returned from Garin's tomb alive. Go if you wish to die. That'll depend on the enemies we see. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's take a look around. We got Druin. Okay, we can fight them. Ow! Actually, it's hurt. <laughs> let's see what we can find around here. A droll. For you, and for damage, you look like a um, a snail of some kind. Mean snail. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Don't know if it has any nasty spells it can cast. The druid does, obviously. Let's see if we can find some stuff in here. Most importantly, the harp. Remember, we're here looking for the harp. <laughs> If it gets too bad, we will just leave and we'll try a different dungeon because that means I'm not supposed to be here yet. But we're doing okay so far. Nothing too bad yet. Got some pillars there. I am not very good at navigating um, dungeons, so... In this game, because I can't see everywhere around me, like I can get lost in a dungeon as it is, but having limited sight in a dungeon is even worse. <laughs> oh. Oh, there's some stairs up. Oh, did I go in a circle? Possible I went in a circle. Poltergeist. That's a new enemy. It's a bigger spooky. There you go, we took care of that. Yes! Well, <laughs> there goes the torch. We can cast Radiant. There we go. Uh, another Poltergeist. Does it give as much EXP or cash as some of the other fights, which is sad. Still takes two hits. 15 EXP, 19 gold. Alright. Now, remember the whole thing with bridges? Every bridge you go across, the enemies will become tougher. Because it's like going into a new area. The same thing happens with dungeons. When you go down a floor, because you usually go down. So, sometimes you go. Basically, when you go to a new floor in the dungeon, things will become more difficult. This dungeon, I believe, we are looking for staircases down. So, the further, the, the lower we go, the more powerful the enemies are going to get. So every floor, we'll want to feel out the enemies first and see if we can take them. It's in there. Not having much luck. A Drakey Maul! It's a Mother Drakey. So it's even stronger. There's hurt again. Yeah, the enemies like to use hurt to get through your defenses and do some damage. The uh, the mother drakey is of course stronger than the drakey or even the magic drakey, which makes sense. Another druin. I think I went in a circle again. 
I'm really good about that. <laughs> Hello, Drain. Well, at least we're getting quite a bit of cash here. Yay! Let's, uh, let's cast heal. Okay, back up to 50. That's good. Okay, there's the entrance. Let's go up, then. Let's go this way. I don't think I've been this way. Poltergeist. Oh, can also cast hurt. Great! A lot of enemies in here are going to cast hurt. <laughs> so our armor will help protect us from from uh, physical attacks. At least weaker physical attacks. Oh good, it didn't cast. Only did two damage. Now you're gonna cast, right? Yep! <laughs> Oh, if only we didn't get ambushed, we would have been fine. Or caught unaware is what it's what it's called here. It's the same thing. It's where the enemies get a free free hit. Oh, there's a door. Let's head through the door. That seems like the way to go. Make sure you have keys before you enter a dungeon as well, obviously. There'll be locked doors and and such. I think we did a pretty good job looking over this floor because I got lost a few times. So I don't think there's anything on this floor. Use an herb. We have 1,683 cash. That's good. Oh, and there you can see the radiant spell starting to lose power. Now we have the... It's like a torch. And it will continue to lose power over time. And then we'll have to recast it. Or use a torch. <laughs> but I used the torch already. Another poltergeist. Ow, fireball. Alright. Make sure there was no treasure. Oh, skeleton! How much do you do now? Two damage. Okay. Not bad. We can take skeletons. Next floor. Alright, now we're on floor two. So there's going to be stronger stuff here more than likely. Let's let's hang around the stairs. See if the enemies have changed. If they have, if we can take them. Alright, there's still a skeleton. Now, it could be the low end of this floor, so... And we don't have a way to instantly uh, leave the dungeon. I don't think the warp wings will let us leave the dungeon. If we need to. There is a spell for that, however. Alright, let's let's take a look. Alright, skeleton. Okay, we're, we're alright so far. XP, 42 gold. Heal up. We don't know what else this floor has in store for us. Oh, nothing there. Nothing there. And a metal scorpion! Eee, this is bad. <laughs> Metal Scorpions are even stronger than the regular Scorpion uh, counterpart. You thought the Scorpion had a lot of defense, and it did have more defense than other enemies. The Metal Scorpion has even more. It took three. Oh, because it had, took a defensive pose. Yeah, this Metal Scorpion can guard, which I kind of hope it does. Ow, the six. Because then it's just uh, stalling for time. There we go. Good. If you have a weak weapon, the only way you're going to get through the Metal Scorpion is by using, using hurt or... In this case, Fireball. 31 EXP. Woo! Level 10! 3 HP, 4 MP, 5 Strength, 4 Guard, 9 Agility. We learned Stop Spell. 48 Gold. Stop Spell is Silence. It will uh, stop an enemy from... Uh, it's kind of self-explanatory. It stops enemies from casting. Stop Spell. <laughs> Have to recast Radiant. Okay, the skeleton can deal with that. Those uh, additional points from the level up will help a lot. Uh, 
Okay, I saw stairs down. Another metal scorpion. Um, fireball. Seventeen. There you go. So if you're having troubles with the uh, metal scorpion, you're probably not doing too well in here anyway. Because the enemies are probably... You're probably not doing a lot of damage as it is. That's a cool looking thing on the floor. That kind of telling me... Well, let's try it here. Ness oh, the music has changed. Hmm, this is scary. This may have bigger enemies. Oh, Wolf Lord! Yeah, I'm good. And I hope the armor can take this. We might have to go level up some more. <laughs> we might have to try a different place. Um, might go back to the swamp. Because there was a locked door in there. Might head back th this way. Uh, wolf Lords are tough. Oh, they can cast Stop Spell for one. Okay, good, it died. 52 EXP and 80 gold. And, uh... Set effects like that wear off after battle. Uh, they can cast hurt. They can do a lot of damage. Our armor may be able to take it, but that uh, that is rough. Let's take a look and see if there's other enemies. I'm gonna heal up. See if the Wolf Lord may be the nastiest thing. We'll stay by the stairs. We'll play it safe. As safe as we can, anyway. That's bad! This could be a death. I could try to flee. This is a dead knight. Dead knights are very powerful enemies. They look like a skeleton with a sword. But make no mistake, they are very powerful. As you can see, it went first, and it did uh, 16 damage. Leave! Oh, blast. Ow. Come on. Come on. <laughs> we barely got away. Yeah. 16 damage. One of those was 20 damage. Can't steal again. Yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, that's bad. We're going to want some more levels before we, before we tackle that for sure. Maybe even steel armor. Uh, dead knights are no joke. I was wondering when when they showed up. I didn't think they showed up in here. We're gonna We're gonna get out of here. How much money do we have? We're getting a lot of money in here though. We can stay on the first two floors and get quite a bit of EXP and cash. After 20 or so more fights we would with the uh, druids we would get have enough for uh, steel armor Which that defense boost would help it, the the night the uh, dead knight would still do a Ton of damage to us. I don't remember if it was called dead knight in the uh, NES version, but I remember the skeleton with the sword is bad Because <laughs> it does a lot of damage. It's a wolf. We could take a regular wolf the Wolf Lord uh, does even more damage. See, the Wolf did six. Wolf Lord does even more. So, if he would have taken the time to swing, I would say about double that. So yeah, some nasty enemies in here. We're gonna we're gonna look for something else to do. <laughs> There's still other places we can go, other doors we can open. So probably shouldn't be here yet. And if you die, again, don't worry. Um, you lose half your cash. I went and checked to see if I was right on that, and I was. It's uh, half your cash. And that's typically how it is in, in uh, Dragon Quest games. You don't just game over completely. We cast Radiant. We're almost out of MP anyway. Um, you'll appear back... In, in the case of this game, you'll appear back at the castle... You have lost half your cash, which can be a really big setback. I am losing a thousand one hundred plus cash would be bad. 
because you need money to buy to buy better equipment. Okay, the only other place I could think of to go right off the bat was it, there was a locked door in the cave. We can head there. We can also buy better equipment. We almost have enough for steel armor. Which would be... Be some really... A really good upgrade. Uh, <laughs> I'm lost the other way. Great, oh there we go. Good news, alright let's get out of here. <laughs> Oh, that wasn't very fun. I mean, it was still a lot of fun, but it wasn't fun to almost uh, die to the uh, dead knight. Hi. Six gold. I'll pay six gold. Okay, let's uh, save at the king in case something bad does happen. And that way we can load the game and not lose half of our cash. Or we can store the money. We can do both, actually. <laughs> we can save, and then we can store money. I went too far to the, uh... Went too far to the right, didn't I? <laughs> yep! <laughs> Bye, slime. There's a big poison swamp there. I guess I was outside, I could have used the wings now, but. A little late now! <laughs> I see all you yelling at the screen, Use the wings! That's why you bought them! I know, forgot I had them. Now that we've saved, how close are we to. I need to buy more keys. Let's head back toward. Um, Rumeldar, because I need to go that way anyway. We can buy keys there. And we can further explore that... That southern continent. I don't remember if there's anything else there... We need to do at the moment. So something I can go get. We found out about that item. From the uh, bathhouse. Which is in coal? So this way. All the same way. To the east. <laughs> in this case, the right. So we'll be going to get to uh, Key Town. <laughs> Rumeldar, however you pronounce, you're supposed to pronounce it. Town's up there, isn't it? Scorpion, we can take care of you. Your uh, metal brethren is a bit more, bit more tough. <laughs> see. Nope, we don't have enough money. I guess if I unequipped the armor, the iron armor, and sold it, we'd have enough. Keep that equipped. I 
Because it would give us 500. We'd have just enough. Okay, it was what? Two south? Check here. Here. Oh, there we go. Pixie flute. Which I think it was the fairy flute in the NES version. Okay, two from the from the entrance. One, two. Got it. Okay. Fancy. Yeah, nothing happens right now. But it would be very useful to help you get uh, get to a, a a new town. Okay, we don't need to rest or anything. I think I will go ahead and buy that um buy the armor. Yeah, because we could buy it here. It'll give us eight more defense. the uh for now sell 500 gold that gives us just enough now we have steel armor yes i definitely want to equip it right now <laughs> all right now we have steel armor and eight more defense so that should come in handy Wait a minute, there was a locked door here. I believe I have one last key, yes. So we can open that. Hi. A man claimed to have seen a most beautiful woman in the cave by the sea south of here, but the cave is infested with monsters. There can't be a beautiful woman there. Must have just imagined it. Sounds like we just found out where the princess is. Hi. Item shop, what you got? Um, has the warp wing, herbs, torches, and scales. The uh, dragon scale. Which you should have already had. Hi. A giant monster called Golem is said to fear the melody of a flute. Hey, we just got a flute. Something fancy about that. Some monsters can't be beaten by just brute force. If you're in a battle, consider your opponent's weak points. And last key. We'll buy the keys and then we'll rescue the princess. <laughs> Welcome, young man. You must have found the seller of keys. That means my son and Remildar must have told you of the pixie flute. Have you obtained it already? Yep. Then head for Mercado. Where's that? <laughs> That's strange. My son Rogo should be in the town. So he tells you, hey, did you meet my son? He's going to tell you where to find the flute that you're going to need. But we have the flute, so now there's another... Uh, place for us to get to. But we need more keys. Let's rescue the princess, get more keys. Ooh, we have to get more keys, then rescue the princess, and... Then now that we have this flute, we'll head that way, I guess, instead of going to get the harp. Because those enemies are tough. Especially the dead knight there. The uh, skeleton swordsman. Okay, take some damage. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Cast Radiant. I think I went this way. I think I hugged the wall the first time we were here. A bit more confident with our new equipment. <laughs> At least, way more new than we had the first time we came here. That's a neat symbol there. Looks like a dragon. Even though we gotta have Draco Lord look like an evil dragon. Of course. Alright, there's the door. We can't unlock it right now anyway. We're out of keys. There's the Eider again. No problem. Ow. Alright, let's go to town. 
Which was this way, I think? Probably? Maybe? <laughs> Hopefully? <laughs> so at least this episode we got new equipment. We have a direction we're going now. And we didn't die to the skeleton swordsman, which is good, because you saw he hit really, really hard. If I swung back, could we maybe have won that fight? Maybe? I don't know how high its defense is, but it, it'd be at least as much as this skeleton, so it would take two hits. We couldn't last long going up against multiple of them, so we had to leave anyway. Let's go buy keys. And next time, we will try to rescue the princess. Because there's probably a really uh, mean monster on the other side of those gates. Just like there was with the tomb, so... Great. <laughs> Spend all our money. Not all of it, but... There we go. Did I ever check these? Now that we know I can... I can check pots. Hey, defense seed! Cool. Anything in here? 123 cash. Neat! To buy keys with. Alright, that's great. This will be useful. Guard rose by four. Nice. Alright. Very useful. Okay. Um, I might do a little bit of fighting out here. And then I could just rest in the, uh, rest in the inn. But I'll, I think I'll do a little bit of fighting out here, and then I will, uh, meet you at the cave. And we'll try to, if it's a, a beautiful lady, it's probably the princess, we'll try to rescue the princess. Until the next episode, I'm Sindray9. Remember to shoot for the stars, and take care, everyone. <laughs>